never miss another strange story, subscribe and hit the bell. Sit back and get comfortable. I have a few stories to share with you. I don't know why I did it, but I guess curiosity will eventually catch up to the cat. It started about a year ago with me just watching YouTube videos on my laptop. Nothing serious, just those four true scary deep web horror stories type of videos. I found it interesting how possible and realistic all of the stories sounded, and I would watch them every night before I went to bed. Then I moved on to informational videos about how to access the deep web, and what software would keep you safe from anyone with bad intentions. I never really considered using any of it, just thought it was something cool to learn about. However, I eventually moved past the initial awe and forgot completely about the ability to access the deep web. Well, about three weeks ago, I decided to watch another one of those scary videos, and then I watched a video on how to access the lower levels of the web. I was extremely bored and decided to download the software necessary and planned on just browsing the websites only slightly below the surface web. After about 30 minutes of setting everything up, I realized that some of the software would cost money and I just decided to say screw it and look around without any protection software. I mean, it's just like the normal web if you don't go anywhere stupid, right? Eventually, I got bored of the normal internet and I found myself on a deep web search page. There were lists of different services, products and so on. One that really stood out to me was the webcam and security camera website. A place in which anyone could watch whatever was being viewed on many compromised cameras around the world. It just blew my mind. I wish I had stopped there, but curiosity, again, brought out my inner cat. I decided to click on the website and was faced with hundreds of different perspectives all from different cameras and different countries. I decided that I would come back to the website another time and try to hit the back arrow in the top left corner of my open tab. The page didn't respond, froze for about two minutes, and then the entire tab closed. I was a bit confused at what had just happened, but didn't think much of it. This morning, I decided to open up the software yet again the first time in three weeks to be exact and I navigated my way back to the security camera website. This time, however, it looked much different. Instead of hundreds of different camera streams, there was only one single camera view being displayed. I recognized myself and my room immediately and as I looked up at the camera on top of my laptop, the image on the screen played back my movement with only a second or two of delay. There were instructions on the screen as well, and I think I've done everything perfectly. You watching this video should be enough time for everything to run its course. I'm sorry, I want you to know that, because you haven't done anything. But I guess life's not fair, and a person as myself knows how to make other people curious. I like your outfit, by the way. It suits your hair color. You might be confused. Don't worry. They'll be in contact soon.